It looks so realistic. I kind of forgot that he was there and everything, but it scared me so much. laying with him on the bed and I went to do some laundry and I walked by and I saw him and I guess I just kind of forgot that he was there and everything but it scared me so much heart just pretty much jumped out of my chest it looks so realistic especially when you're not paying attention and you just kind of glance at it Waiting for him to just kind of turn his head and move. That's how realistic it almost is. Hey, today I'm going to show you some of the things that I bought from Facebook ads. So first I ordered this from Crown and Paw. It is my cat Pee Wee who is painted or printed off 
to look like a royal, <clears throat> like a royal person. I don't remember exactly what the title was when I ordered it, but I saw this and I thought it was perfect for Pee Wee. It's that sassy look she has. And I made a mistake when I was ordering this. I thought I was ordering the actual painting, but it's just like a poster. And that's okay. It's still cute. And it's still funny. It is kind of expensive. I believe this was $40. And basically all it is is the poster. So I don't regret spending $40 on it. I think it's really funny and cute. And the next thing I bought was from Cuddle Clones. And so my cat, Casper, who is my best friend, we did everything together. We went on walks. We took naps together. He was just my best little furry friend. He went missing. And so I've been devastated about it ever since. And I always said that I would never get a stuffed animal or a replica of any of the pets because I feel like it would be too hard to handle but I decided to get a cuddle clone of Casper and I'm honestly really glad that I did it's not as hard as what I thought it would be I mean it still makes me kind of sad and I did cry when I opened it and I cried when I ordered it I honestly feel like it makes me feel a little bit better just to look at him and give him a hug and it's just not as hard as what I thought it would be. It actually makes me feel a little bit better. So when you're ordering from Cuddle Clones, they ask you for a whole bunch of pictures and details so that they get your animal correct. And so I uploaded as many pictures as I could so that you get the coloring right on him. His face is a little bit off. Like Casper's actual face wasn't so round and fluffy. But they, they nailed it. They got his little coloring right, all of his little stripes. And I just think he's just precious. So I was able to use a code on one of the weekends that was a holiday weekend. So I didn't pay full price for him. But he was pretty expensive. I paid over $200 for him. But, you know, they're doing it custom made. He's one of a kind. His little tag says his name. It just says CC for Cuddle Clones. This is what comes in the package with it. So these are the two things that I ordered. I do not regret ordering either one of them. They were both very expensive, but I am happy with my my items. I wouldn't want to return them or change anything. I'm very happy. I will say that I kind of want more cuddle clones of some of my other cats, which is kind of ridiculous, but they're very cute and even though they're expensive, they're just very fun to get. There's an excitement when you get the package and you're ready to open it and to see them for the first time. I think that's just part of the appeal of it. And like I said, no one else is going to have your cat. They also, you know, make other animals. So I think it's very cool how that they can make fish and hamsters and hedgehogs. It's not just cats and dogs that they can make. So I'm just making this video because these two companies appeared on my Facebook page because, you know, I'm always sharing and liking animal pages. So, so these two things just popped up on my feed. I just made this video because I thought it'd be fun. I'm not any way sponsored or affiliated with any either one of these companies. Thank you for watching. Bye!